We are at the Phoenix International Raceway for the 23rd race of Season 2 of the SCRL Rainbow Dash Truck Series. The 07 of Colin Dryberg will be leading us to the green flag. Start beside him is the 16 of Keith slash Kevin Stevens, whatever your name is. Marcus Sanchi enters this race with a 20, no, excuse me, with a 27 point lead, yes, over Al Legacy. Marcus Sanchi will be starting in the 35th position. His championship rival, his closest championship rival, Al Legacy, will be starting third. One good thing about the last two races of the season, we can fit all full and part time drivers. So, full fields for the next two races. So, if you have not yet scored a win, like Evan Rudd, Zachary Fitzwater, this is your last chance, really. Colin Driver again, the 07 truck, a part time driver, will be leading us to the green. Colin Dryberg, the last time he started in the started on the pole, I guess you could say, but it's not really pole because we just skipped qualifying. The last time he started first, he led every single lap at Richmond. Dryberg is also looking to make history today. If he scores a win, this will be his third career Truck Series win, which will tie him with Nita HPK for all time. Because Nita HPK has three, Dryberg has two. So we got a packed crowd here at Phoenix, a packed field, and without any further ado, here's the command for the 23rd time this season. Drivers, start your engines. We have ran at Phoenix three times in the history of the truck series. Nia HBK won the very first, Grace Nays Vidu won the second, and Andrew Croach, no excuse me, Rodney Croach won the third. Looks like no one's having any problems. So, the streak is over. Andrew Croach won at Mesa Marlin in the last race, so we won't have a full season of first time, well, not first time winners, but different winners. We went 21 races. Colin Dreberg looking for his second win. Keith Stevens looking for his second win as well. Al Legacy looking for his second. Sebastian Torres is looking for his second. We have mathematically eight drivers that can still win the championship with two races to go. Pace truck is in. Pull the belts tight. We are racing 32 laps here at Phoenix. And there's the green. No passing before you get to your start finish line. Now you can start passing. Let the games begin. Jabber leads him off into turn number one. Oh, contact between him and the 16. Al Agassi moves up to second. Down the back stretch for the first time under green conditions. Oh, contact between Sebastian Torres and the 16. And to turn number four for the first time under green conditions. Jabberg trying to lead yet another lap. And he does. Al Agassi is in second. Battle for third. Sebastian Torres. There's a championship contender, Jay Jefferson. In uh, seventh spot right now in points. Battle on M.A. Croach. Whoa, contact. Yep, we still have mathematically eight drivers that can win the championship. Marcus Sanchi, Al Legacy, uh, Jonathan Reigns, Connor Thunder, uh, Keith Stevens, Kevin McHugh, Jay Jefferson, and A.J. Jones. All within 180 points because that's the maximum you can gain. We might have one or two knocked out today, depending on what happens. Jabberg is uh, just pulling away a little bit from Al Legacy. For Al, this could uh, cost him the championship because uh, Jabberg is a part-time driver and Al is second in points, so he kind of needs to get around Jabberg because it could cost him the championship just in case. But then again, Marcus Sanchi is battling almost for last place, so Marcus needs to get going. Oh, we got a wreck. Oh, God. Oh. Marcus Sanchi is able to get by. Yes, he is. So our championship leader is able to avoid 
as the seven Greg Lee has damage. And we are under caution for the very first time after four laps has been completed. Colin Jobber gives our race leader. We'll take a look at the first caution of the day. So let's see what happens. Joe Jefferson racing with Keenan Bush. Keenan, oh, looks like Nate HVK came up the track and hit Joe Jefferson. And Joe goes for a spin. And hits the inside wall pretty hard. And then A.J. Jones hits Nia HPK. Cam Nixie gets involved. Oscar Isaac, Jacob Bishop, Cole Nixie. Uh, Kevin McHugh almost got spun out up there. And then Greg Lee gets damaged. And Charlie Foos. Two of the Croach family got involved. Then we had another incident. Grayson Ace Vidu, Kyle Metz, Charlie Foos, Tim Randolph, Oscar Isaac again. Well, we didn't have no championship contenders involved this time. Kevin McHugh came the closest. Actually, wait, I think he did get damage. He got damage right there from Nick Kennedy, and then he hit Tony Newman. So, Kevin McHugh did get damage. Now, let's take a look at Marcus Sanchi. Came into this race as the championship leader, despite no wins. He sees the wreck fold in front of him, so he just goes to the low lane, trying to avoid. You see Kyle Metz spinning out down there. And Sanchi just basically stops and then goes around as he sees the track open up. And Marcus Sanchi is able to survive. So that is a huge bullet Marcus Sanchi just missed by escaping those two wrecks. So his championship hopes are still alive. We'll clean the mess up in turn three and four. And we will take you back to the restart. We are half a lap away from restarting this race. The 7 of Greg Lee is out of the race. The truck that Jay Barker won, well, drove to the championship in Season 1 continues to have struggles in Season 2. Colin Jobert is our race leader. Second is Al Legacy. Third, Sebastian Torres. Fourth, M.A. Croach. Fifth, Jay Jefferson. Sixth, Jimmy Potter. Seventh, Alan Rowe. Eighth, Derek Edison. Ninth, Matt Anderson. And tenth, Rodney Croach. So at one end of the field, you have Dryberg, and at the other, you have Greg Lee. Pace truck is in, and we're back to racing here at Phoenix. Drivers want to go, but you can't pass. Now you can. Now Legacy going to try and get under Colin Dryberg. Whoa. No. He's trying. Dryberg is trying to defend. Here comes Al. Trying to clear Colin Dryberg. Trying. Still fighting. Still fighting. Still side by side. Still side by side. Driver go for runoff turn four. Ow, will lead a lap. And the caution is out. I just noticed that. Looks like AJ Jones, championship contender. Looks like Cole Nixie as well is on pit road. Half the field is racing back. The other isn't. So, Al Legacy will lead Colin Dryberg to the caution flag. There it is. As the field catches back up, we'll take a look and see what brought out the second caution of the day. So, it looks like the four, A.J. Jones racing with uh, Ron Andrew Croach, who just won the last race. There's contact between the 87 and the four. Then Kyle Metz gets involved. And clips the right bumper and takes out A.J. Jones. So we have yet another championship contender involved. And then there's Joe Jefferson on the low side. They're all sliding, trying to avoid. And Cole's just on pit road just to repair damage. Luckily, everybody was able to avoid A.J. Jones. He'll be able to keep on trucking along. And his championship hopes will still be alive. But barely. So there should be a quickie caution. We will take you back to the restart. Half a lap away from restarting this race. No one else is out of the race. We still have 39 trucks. 
to do in this race. Al Lagasse is our race leader. Second, Colin Dreberg. Third, Jay Jefferson. Fourth, M.A. Croach. Fifth, Jimmy Potter. Sixth, Alexander Rose. Seventh, Sebastian Torres. Eighth, Derek Edison. Ninth, Max Anderson. And tenth, Rodney Croach. Al Lagasse looking for his second win of the season. So is Colin Dreberg. So is Sebastian Torres. So is M.A. Croach. So the first four drivers looking for their second win here in Season 2. The pace truck is in. And we are back to racing here at Phoenix. No passing for you. You get you the line. Now you can. No one making a move just yet. And turn number one. Al Lagasse goes a little bit wide. Here comes Dreiberg. Dreiberg trying. And he finds room. Yep. Into turn three. New race leader, 07 truck, Colin Dreberg, reclaims the race lead. And leads it again. Here comes M.A. Croach, battling for second. Three way between Croach, Jay Jefferson, and Al Agassi. So Dreberg is trying to make history. If he wins here today, he will have the he will tie the record with the most wins in the truck series with three. Currently, Nita HPK holds that record, three truck wins. Dreberg looking for his third and second of the season. And May Croach trying to go around him, not enough yet. Sebastian Torres making a three-way pass. Good move for him. Oh, we got lap traffic. 23. Cole Nixie. Oh. Leaders miss him, thankfully. And we got a big cluster back here. Oh, we got... Oh, Rick. Alexander Rowe and Al Legacy. Not good for his championship hopes. And, oh, what? Oh, the 19 just got spun out by Raleigh Spurley Tube. That was really weird. Colin Dreiberg has reclaimed the race lead. We'll take a look and see what happened to Alexander Rowe and Al Agassi. So the 29, Alexander Rowe racing with Al Agassi, Max Anderson, and Kevin, or Keith Stevens. I think it's Keith. I think I spelled it wrong on the sign-ups, but that's what it showed up on the sign-ups thing, so I apologize. And looks like there's contact between 29 and 98. Alexander Rowe hits the wall. And Al Legacy is going to lose a lot of spots. He was in the race lead. And now he's back in the middle of the pack. And ironically enough, when this race will restart, he will be right in front of Marcus Sanchi. Now, that is what happened to bring out the caution. Let's see what happened to Connor Thunder. So the caution is already out. There it is. Let's see. Looks like Riley Spurley Tube doesn't slow down. And makes contact with Connor Thunder. They continue to make more contact. Until Riley Spurley Tube just decides, you know what? I'm just going to spin him out. And there you go. Well, that's pretty much self-explanatory right there. And Connor Thunder will be able to continue on, but he will have some cosmetic damage, but it shouldn't affect the performance of that dodge. And yeah, we will take you back to the restart. Half a lap away from restarting this race. The 29 of Alexander Rowe is out. Cole Nixie is one lap down. Al Legacy will be starting in 18th on the restart. His championship rival, Marcus Sanchez, will be starting 19th. Colin Dreberg is our race leader. Second is M.A. Croach. Third, Jimmy Potter. Fourth, Sebastian Torres. Fifth, Max Anderson. Sixth, Keith Stevens. He is the highest up in the championship contenders right now. Seventh, Derek Edison. Eighth, Jay Jefferson. He's a contender. Ninth, Rodney Croach. And tenth, Bulldog 67. Will lap traffic get in the way? Will Cole Nixie do the right thing and move aside? We shall see. Pace truck is in. And we're back to racing here at Phoenix. No passing before we get to the line. Now you can. Jimmy Potter going for second. Oh boy, this is going to get entertaining. Here comes Potter. Dreiberg stuck on the outside due to lap traffic. Trying to get a run on the outside. Cole Nixie is pretty fast though in his truck. 
Oh, boy. Three wide. Jimmy Potter to the lead. But Jabber, whoa, look at the move Jabber just did. Wow. That was impressive. Keith Stevens trying to move up. Keith, Kevin, Stevens, whatever your name is, I'm sorry if I wrote your name wrong. I just wrote what, what the uh, sign-up said. Let's look back and see where our championship contenders is. I always lose spots. And Marcus Sanchi is in front of Al, so big swing in the championship. Jimmy Potter is leading now. Less than 10 laps to go. Potter looking for his first SCRL sanctioned win. Dryberg looking for his... I have no clue. He has so many wins. M.A. Croach trying to go around lap traffic. If a caution comes out now, lap down drivers will be where they're at. So they won't start on the inside. Dryberg's trying to make a run for it. Trying to decide when he should go. Keith Stevens trying to close up. Wow, look at Keenan Bush. He just passed th two drivers. Luke Rainey moving up. Jack Legacy moving up. And we got a big cluster back here. Haha, you thought I was gonna you thought I was gonna cuss, didn't you? No, we gotta be fa family friendly here on this channel. Jaberg making his move for the lead. He is determined to get that second win of the season. Keith Stevens now in second. Kevin. Keith. And May Croach trying to go for third. He wants his second win of the season. Laps are winding down. Trevor leads. We got another lap. We got six laps to go. Jabber goes a little bit wide. Here comes Keith Stevens. Trying to get under him. Not enough. Yet. Oh, now he's going to try again. But Jabber throws a block. Whoa. Still green. Six laps to go this time by. Lap down drivers are not in the way. At least not yet. Isaac is on the back stretch. So we should be fine. Still green. Let's see what else is going on. Some good racing back here in the pack. Whoa. Yeah. All right, we're good. Dryberg still trying to defend against Keith Stevens. If a caution comes out, we might have to go to green, white, checkered. Might. Dryberg does not want that. Wants it to stay green. Be two laps to go next time. Bye. When do you make your move? Do you go now or do you wait to the last lap? But do you, if you wait to the last lap, it could be too late. Lap down, drivers in turn four. We are in turn three. Oh, we might get lap traffic involved. Keith Stevens trying to get under the 0-7. He's going to try. Nope. Two laps to go. Now he's going to go. He got tired of waiting. Keith Stevens, new race leader. Here comes the 83, Max Anderson. Can Jabber fall back in line? He does. Be the white flag this time by Dryberg. Tries to give him the bump and run. Keith Stevens able to maintain. White flag, one lap to go here at Phoenix. Who will win? Off into turn number one. Stevens goes a little bit wide. Here comes Dryberg in a low lane. Stevens trying to block. Uh, Trevor, Oscar Isaac, better get out of the way. Down to Baxter for the final time. Into turns three and four. Jabberg's got one more chance. I'm not sure he's going to get it. Oh, bump. Photo finish. I think Jabberg got it. 
Yeah. Oh, wow, he did. Oh, my God. That might be the closest finish in the history of the truck series. Uh, wow. Uh, we got to... We gotta take a look at that finish and then we'll take you to your results. So your race results. Colin Dryberg scores the win. But first we gotta go back and take a look at that finish. Wow. So Dryberg made the move in turn four. They see the lap traffic of Oscar Isaac. Isaac just trying to finish the race. Dryberg goes way down. Keith Stevens dives, but it's too little too late. And that's the margin of victory. Dryberg made the move at the right time. Look at that. Wow. We had a last lap pass here at Phoenix. So Dryberg scores his second win of the season in a photo finish. And I think it is the closest finish in the truck series. I'll have to tally up all the stats on it and whatnot to see if it actually is. But the official margin of victory is 0 0.026. He won by two one thousandths? No, one hundredths. No, one tenth. Twenty-six tenths. Wow. Third, Max Anderson. Fourth, M.A. Croach. Fifth, Jimmy Potter. Sixth, Keenan Bush. Seventh, Derek Edison. Eighth, Luke Rainey. Ninth, Tony Newman. And tenth, Eli Bright. Championship points leader Marcus Sanchi finished 23rd. Where did Al Legacy finish? 31st. That will not hand Al the championship, uh, you know, points lead because he finished behind. Oscar Isaac, 37th. The last driver on Lee Labs. He finished right there. Cole Nixie, one lap down. Alexander Rowe, out. Greg Lee, out. Wow, what a race. What a photo finish. Dryberg scored his second win of the season, third win all time in the truck series. And without any further ado, we will take you to Victory Lane with Colin Dryberg. Here are your points. Stands after the 23rd race of the season at Phoenix. Marcus Sanchi continues to hold the point lead. He has a 29-point lead heading in to the season finale at Las Vegas over Jonathan Reigns. Third is key for Kevin Stevens. How do you say your name? 44 points behind. Fourth, Al Legacy, 51 points behind. Fifth, Connor Thunder, 91 points behind. Sixth, Jay Jefferson, 132 points behind. Seventh, M.A. Croach, 149 points behind. And eighth, Luke Rainey, 158 points behind. So technically, those drivers can win the championship still. However, ninth place, Kevin McHugh is 180 points behind. So he needs to uh, basically win the race. McHugh does to win the championship. So technically, we have nine drivers heading into the season finale with a shot of being the Season 2 SCRL Rainbow Dash Truck Series champion. So, yeah. Tenth is Rodney Croach, 181 points behind. So, mathematically, everyone from Rodney Croach on down is mathematically been eliminated from getting the championship since they are more than 180 points behind. Well, they can't gain 180, so, yeah. So, 10th is Rodney Croach, 11th, Sebastian Torres, 12th, Zachary Fitzwater, 13th, AJ Jones, 14th, Caleb Croach, 15th, Oscar Isaac, 16th, Grayson Ace Vidu, 17th, Alexander Rowe, 18th, Rodney Croach, 19th, Tony Newman, and 20th, Evan Rudd. 21st, Cole Nixie, 22nd, Keenan Bush, 23rd, Jacob Bishop, 24th, Max Anderson, 25th, Jack Lagacy, 26th, Cam Nixie, 27th, Derek Edison, 28th, Greg Lee, 29th, Joe Jefferson, and 30th, Nick Kennedy. 31st, Riley Sprawley Tube. 32nd, Jimmy Potter. 33rd, Kyle Metz. 34th, Phoenix Race winner, Colin Jaberg. 35th, Brian Fox. 36th, Eli Bright. 37th, Tim Randolph. 38th, Nia HPK. 39th, Charlie Foos. And 40th, Bulldog 67. 
So that is your point standings after the 23rd race of the season at Phoenix. Like I said before, heading into Las Vegas, we have nine drivers that can mathematically win the championship. So it should be a good one in Las Vegas. So until then, keep the hammer down and we'll see you at the track.